Good evening, all. I wish I could be there tonight, but thank you for accommodating my virtual participation. So the library company joined uh, CFI with a fairly discreet project in mind. We wanted to translate a couple of college-level lessons in our digital history project, Digital Paxton, for use in high school classrooms. I had also personally hoped that whoever joined us would take the opportunity to explore our collections, pursue their interests, and create a lesson on their own. I couldn't be happier with the work that Eleanor Anderson has done over the past couple of months. Um, while I had naively hoped that our existing lessons could be simply correlated to relevant standards, Eleanor has really taken initiative to thoroughly reimagine our lessons. For example, she refocused a transcription assignment on printed materials, selected age-appropriate primary and secondary source uh, content, and authored a modeling and guided practice section. I'm particularly excited to see where she takes her own lesson, which explores the visual vocabularies of colonial engravings and political cartoons. The fruits of that labor will be publicly accessible early next year through a dedicated high school education pathway, um, which will really highlight Eleanor's lessons. But more than a capable and committed educational specialist, Eleanor has really invested herself in a library company, our collections, and our learning community. She's visited our print department and worked in our reading room, attended public programs, and even traveled across town to hear a lunch at the library at the APS. We'll miss having her as our resident educational specialist, but I look forward to welcoming her back as a researcher, a patron, and a community member. Thank you, Eleanor, and thank you to the Cultural Fieldwork Initiative for making this opportunity possible.